Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at multi protocol label switching. In particular, within MPLS, we're going to be taking a look at the concept of virtual routing and forwarding light, otherwise known as VRF light. We're going to take a look at the characteristics of VRF light. We're also going to be configuring it, and we're also going to be doing some show and debug commands to show us how to and that we successfully implemented VRF light. So what we I put VRF light under MPLS because in the CCIE routing and switching blueprint it shows up under there. However, it must be known here that VRF light does not involve any enabling of MPLS or multi protocol BGP on our routers. And what you've probably seen here is with some of my MPLS VPN labs you've seen how we tied in our VRFs into the MPLS VPN structure with multi protocol BGP and we ran that from premise edge to customer edge our VRFs so what we're going to see here with VRF Lite is that it does not involve MPLS or multi protocol BGP however what we're also going to learn here is that VRFs involve and allow us to create logical routing tables within our router. For instance, we, in this example we're going to have two VRFs on both router 1 and 2. We're going to have VRF customer 1 and VRF name customer 2. And what we're going to see here is that these interfaces and networks that we put into these VRFs will not show up in the global routing table. And by default what we're going to find out too is that VRFs are isolated from each other and that they cannot talk to other VRFs or routes in to the global routing table. So let's go ahead and get started here We'll go ahead on router 1 and we'll configure the interfaces here. What we're going to see is we're enabling VRF light over a frame relay network. We're going to use sub interfaces. On router 2 we have serial 00 0.11 and serial 00 0.22. We have the same thing on router 1 and we can see here on the frame relay switch we have two DELCs, our two mappings here we have port 1 is mapping DELC 102 to port 2's 201 and then we also have port 1 is mapping DELC 112 to port 2's 221 and that is going to be under our sub interfaces here on our routers so 102 and 201 are going to be under the dot 11 sub interface and then the 112 and the 221 Delcy is going to be going from or I should say under our 22 sub interface now all the IPs here are in the VRF which is listed so in VRF customer 1 we have the 172.16.11.0 network and that again is going to be connecting serial 00 0.11 to serial 00 0.11 from router 1 to 2. We're also going to include a loopback 1 which is 1.1.1.1 slash 25 for the customer 1 and also they're going to have a 1.1.1.129 slash 25 on the other side here on router 2. 